Hey guys, Technivers here. Today we are going to talk about this. Now this is uh, Polymaker. This is Polymaker Polylight PLA. And you may have seen me using this recently on my keychain video. And I will be using it some more to finish those off. But I did get this as a sample and I wanted to run my test prints with it. So I have those here and I will put some pictures of these up on the screen. So uh, this is actually probably the clearest lettering I've seen so far on the coin. I know you can't really see anything on the one I'm holding up, but we'll put one up here as well uh, and get some good detail. This coin came out really nice. Uh, I'm thinking now um, after doing a bunch of these and some of them do come out better than others, but I'm thinking now about going back and making the shell one pass thicker just to eliminate being able to see the infill sometimes because uh, it happens quite a bit on almost every coin. So and I'd like to get a little bit smoother of a finish to see to test top surfaces. So, but the uh, the steps in the star came out really nicely, and the words came out pretty easy to see as well. So, that's a plus. Worked really well there. Uh, I also did the low poly rose base. We'll get some better pictures of this guy up as well. But this is a pretty standard model that I print in base mode to see how it comes out. And this one is pretty well flawless. Once in a while. When it starts doing the bottom spiral, I get a little bit of a uh, indentation there where it doesn't quite adhere to the bed immediately, but it almost always straightens out. Um, this one, however, is completely flush and almost perfect. And speaking of perfect, we have this little guy. Now, this is the elephant print. Uh, this came out amazing. The overhang on the foot here, uh, and I will... There it is right there, circled. Uh, that guy is normally the hardest part of this model to print and as I've said before I usually get a lot of filament droopage in there but this time uh, it was just pretty close to flawless so really happy with that everything from Polymaker seems to be coming out top-notch so uh, kudos to them but uh, I'm, I'm gonna give this uh, a 5 out of 5 I had no problems running it it ran at a decent temperature I also did a couple other things um, was working on a holder for a 9 volt battery uh, that I, I'm going to be using in some other models and this came out really nice. A little thicker than I intended but works pretty well. And the other one's actually a battery holder as well. Um, this one I was slightly off my measurement so I had to scale it up so this isn't the one I actually ended up using. The other one is actually attached to the item that I was trying to power um, and this actually worked really well Dimensional accuracy is nice. Like I said, my measurement was off. It wasn't the filament. So second time's a charm on that one. You know what they say, you know, forget to measure and then cut like three times. I think that's how it goes. Anyway, uh, yeah, five out of five for the Polylite PLA. Uh, on a side note, the winner of our Polymaker contest hasn't come forward and contacted me yet. So I'm going to give that one more day here and then it'll have been a week and I'm probably gonna have to pick a different winner so uh, I hate to disappoint anybody but I've got Polymaker waiting on me as well and uh, one of the conditions is that you were a subscriber and if you were a subscriber you probably would have noticed that video by now so uh, if anybody knows how to get a hold of Chris I believe his name was uh, I'll have to double check that too um, please do if not I mean I've sent him a couple emails if we don't hear by tomorrow night uh, something I'm going to give the polymaker choice to somebody else that will actually take it so um, that's gonna be the end of this video guys and tech never out as always this channel is brought to you by these fine patreon supporters if you'd like to support the channel on patreon head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous alright guys that's gonna be the end of this video as always thank you I'll put a video up right here that you can check out for more of our stuff. And if you're still here and you haven't already, why don't you click right here and subscribe to the channel.